Hello guys, so I'm Vincent and I'm Alan and we are the 2018 batch monitors. So we will be doing a short campus tour for Pasi campus. So now as you can see, behind us is our main gate. And now let's start to enter the campus together. So let's enter our university. This is our university entrance and to enter we need to we need to put in our student IDs. So now guys we are entering the library and then as we can see because of the current pandemic this is our protocol for entering the library. Yeah guys so this is our reading zone and as we know like we cannot talk that out inside it so we will give you a small peek what is inside. So guys, our library also provides a lot of books from different authors, like different languages also. So we can borrow a book like within one month. And if you don't want to borrow a book, we can just take the book and then sit here. So our our library is open from 8 a.m. and close at until 11 p.m. And then so many facilities that, as we can see, computer and any other things. So guys, this is our garden inside the campus. Okay, now uh, we're gonna show you the classes, and on the way to the classes, uh, you can you can see this this building, and this is our university clock tower, and it's very beautiful spot. It's one of the very beautiful spots in our university. Now we'll be going to our, we'll be showing you one of our teaching buildings. So this is the entrance of our, one of our teaching buildings. We'll show you the inside. So guys, now we will be showing one of our classroom, like how it look like inside. Uh, and then here outside of the classroom, we have a vending machine that which is available for us to buy some snacks or maybe some coffee during the break. Now we will be showing our dormitory which is only for overseas students. So now let's enter together. So this is inside our dormitory. This is the garden inside our own dormitory and in our dormitory there are three blocks. This uh, the one towards our left is the, A, uh, the B block and the one straight to us is the C block and the one to our right this one over here is the D block dormitory and just 
to the just in front of the deep D block dormitory you can see a room that is a kitchen and um, you can there's induction cookers over there and you can cook your foods and stuff and uh, and straight you can see the B block and the C block so this is the B block and this is the entrance of the B block and this is the C block and this is the entrance to the C block and straight you can see uh, the A block and the A block is the first block and it has so many rooms there's plenty of rooms the B block is over here and the B block there's mainly uh, single rooms and double rooms and to the right you can see the parking spots for the e-vehicles electronic bikes and stuff cycles so guys now let's have a walk inside the dormitory so now I am entering the C block which is one of the block in our dormitory and then next to me is one reading room so this is the reading room that we can use for study so in case if you cannot study in room so you guys can come here to study and then during the exam time the reading room is open for 24 hours so guys now let's continue and then as you can see here there are a lot of rooms in the, my left side and my right side so the condition in our dormitory is like this so neat and so clean and then uh, next to me is there is one cooking room which is kitchen and the kitchen is open from 7 a.m. until 11 p.m. so if you guys cannot eat Chinese food or not used to eat Chinese food so you guys can cook yeah and then let's continue to the next one so guys now let's take a look for one of the room in our dormitory which is triple room so this is how we we'll look inside so inside the room there are three beds and then three cupboards three tables and there are uh, some extra cupboards also which you can keep so you guys have a lot of space and then in here you guys have uh, one balcony also and then the toilet also is inside the room So now we are arriving to canteen. So we are in the canteen right now. We are outside the canteen right now. This is the entrance of our canteen and if you go upstairs there's a special section for halal food and we'll enter the canteen right now. Right now right now it's just opening time so the people are just gonna come. People are just coming. So it's not so busy. It gets very busy at around 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. over here. And here you can see uh, this is our canteen and and uh, you can take whatever dish you like and you can pay using your student card. And right now again over here there was thermometer testing and infrared testing because of the coronavirus pandemic. And there's so many seats for you guys to take food and sit and have your food. And there's another there's another section upstairs. And upstairs there's a lot of vegetarian and non-vegetarian dishes as well. So guys, next to canteen, here is uh, our coffee shop which sells some snacks and some stationery. So if you guys need something, so no need to go out from campus. And then next to it, we can see there is one football ground. So it's so big, so 
yeah this is one of the facility of our campus and here's some um, table tennis table and here is a playground and finally here is track so guys next to track there is one playground so you guys can do some exercises here if you guys are interested Hi guys, so this is our track. So in one lap there is uh, 800 meters. So it's quite big. And then in the middle of the track there is one football ground. Okay, this is a basketball court and as you can see this is a huge court and the sports meets usually takes place over here. 